2021. In this video, I am going to indeed convince you that Dying Light 2 is coming out in 2021. We're going to be looking at a few different things that point at a 2021 release date. The first one is going to be rather obvious to you if you've been keeping up even a little bit with Dying Light 2. The other two you may have no idea about. So stick around to the end and I can promise you you're going to be convinced that Dying Light 2 is coming out this year. It is important to mention though that there is a small chance it is not coming out this year. I will not deny that, but it is a very small chance in my eyes. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with the first piece of evidence we're going to be looking at here and this is of course the end of the dev update video if you haven't seen the dev update that came out a little bit ago i suggest you go watch it but basically what it was was just a little bit of talking at the beginning and a small snippet of gameplay and then at the end of the trailer we actually saw this a 2021 date now the meaning of this 2021 date has been very controversial. Some people like me think this is a clear cut date, it's a clear cut release time frame for Dying Light 2, but there is another group of people that think this is just a meaning of more news coming this year. Now I think that's a pretty silly thought to have, mainly because I don't think Techland would be this foolish to put 2021 at the end of a trailer. Just to signify we're going to get more news soon, I think that would definitely be overkill. But if that is what this is signaling, Teclan cannot get mad at people for thinking that this is a release time frame. After all, let me remind you, when you're watching E3 and you see gameplay, when the gameplay is about to end and they're about to roll the date or the year, whatever they're going to roll, some type of date, sometimes they give you an exact date, sometimes it's just a year. But that's pretty much widely known to be a release time frame or a release date. I mean, we don't see Halo showing up at E3 giving out a date and then later on saying that was just to signify more news coming. A date following the gameplay has signification of a release. Nothing more, nothing less. That's just how it is. That's been like that for a while. And I don't think Techland would have put 2021 at the end of the dev update if it was just to signify news. If they were thinking about doing that to signify news, they definitely would have thought beforehand that people could misunderstand it as a release time frame, and they wouldn't have put it there in the first place. But the fact that the 2021 at the end of the gameplay is there signifies to me that that's a release time frame. Now that I've cleared that up for everybody that's watching, we're going to move on to the next piece of evidence, and this is definitely going to be less widely known. Really, the only possible way you're going to know about this is if you've watched my videos in the past. And there will be some of you, but there's going to be a lot of you that have no clue. So just to get right into it, September 21st, 2020, we had an article come out. This article was an interview with the writer David Bergantino. Bergantino has since moved on from Dying Light 2, which the interview states. But one interesting quote we got from Bergantino in the interview when he was asked about Dying Light 2, I'm making substantial contributions to a game that's one of the most anticipated console titles for next year. Since this interview came out around 2020, we can see that Minx 2021. Now you're going to be asking, how, how have we not known about this? Why am I just hearing about this now? Well, on September 22nd, the day after this was released, the quote was changed. The quote now says, I'm making a substantial contribution to a game that's one of the most anticipated console titles. You see, they just took out the next year part. Now Teclan just says this is a misunderstanding. In my eyes, I don't think this is a misunderstanding. I think this is a cover-up. I just personally don't think they would have misquoted him like that in the first place. And the fact that the only only part of the quote they took out was the next year part is just oddly coincidental. I think Bergantino slipped up in the interview and I think Teclan is covering his tracks. So now we're going to be moving on to the most recent piece of evidence. Now I will admit this piece of evidence is a little more on the line. So as you can see here we have someone asking Dying Light 2 when? Pretty common question. Then we have a Teclan employee here responding saying 2021 with the screenshot from the end of the dev update. This is not the only thing we saw either. We saw Io, the bot in the Dying Light 2 Discord, responding to people who were saying Dying Light 2 when, and giving them the same screenshot, an animated version actually. So that could of course just be a little bit of trolling. Now as far as an actual employee actually responding to someone saying that, it's on the line on whether he would have actually been trolling when saying that. Maybe he's actually giving us some confirmation that we haven't seen yet. If you guys weren't aware, Teclan is working on a Q&A video that's going to be coming out sometime soon, and they've been sorting through those questions since the dev update came out. So I can definitely see it coming out sometime soon, and like I said before, I wouldn't be surprised if we get confirmation on 2021. At this point, I'm a believer that this game is coming out in 2021. In my mind, I'm 99% with a 1% chance of 2022 release, but I hope I've convinced you that it's coming out in 2021. 
that's gonna be it for the video thank you guys for watching like the video if you've enjoyed it subscribe to watch more of my dying light 2 content and yeah twitter and discord will be in the description thank you for watching see you in the next one